Okay, hello. So today I will show you how to calculate the component for the boost converter. Okay, for the boost converter, if you connected to the uh, PV panel. Okay, you have a MPPT boost converter. So basically, you have here is the the PV panel. Okay, this is the standard symbol for PV panel, and you have a boost converter here. Okay, this is the boost converter, all of it. Okay, and then you connect this into the MPPT algorithm. Okay, so basically, you have to design this properly. Okay, if not, you cannot control it. Okay, okay, it's quite harder to control if you don't properly design it. So the the component that you need to know is the input capacitor here. Okay, ah, uh, for normal boost converter, there will be no input capacitor. Okay, but if you connect to the PV module, it is a current source. Okay, almost like a current source. So if you don't put this, basically the current will oscillate very large. So you cannot find the maximum power point if the oscillation is very large. So to control this oscillation, you have to put the capacitor. Okay, it will filter out the oscillation. So without this input capacitor, your oscillation will become very large. So you cannot in, uh, get the MPP. Or maximum power point, and then you have to find the inductor. Okay, to design this, I suggest you do the continuous current mode because this continuous current mode is one mode, one thing is quite difficult to control. Okay, not quite difficult, but it is it is hard to con. Uh, okay, basically hard to control. So basically, you have to make sure that is the current never reach zero. So you have to design the L so that it is not. Less than zero. So basically, the smaller the L, the quicker it goes to zero. You can use a very large inductor, but the problem is the system become very slow. So you want a fast system. Okay, you don't want the slow system. So basically, you want to the L to be small, but not small un, uh, until we we become the con this continuous current. Mode. Okay, but for the C is just to control the ripple. Okay, this is for the C input and for the C output. The next component is the C output. Okay. What is important about C output is basically to control the ripple, the voltage ripple at the output. Okay, the C in is basically the voltage ripple at the input, and C out is the voltage ripple at the output. So you have to control both of this. If not, your quality of the converter, MPPT bus converter, is be very bad. Okay, so you have to control both of it. Okay, and lastly, this one is very hard. Okay, because you have to calculate it properly, but it's not very hard to calculate. Just very hard to determine the range. Okay, the formula is quite simple. Okay, the com uh, comparing the C in, C out, and L, the formula is quite simple. But uh, it has many condition. Okay, the C out, eh, the R out. Okay, so I will show you how to choose the R out. There are three consideration you have to know. Okay, three condition to choose the R out. Okay, so basically your the task today is just to calculate the four component, which is the C input, L in, L C output and uh, C out uh, C out and R out. Okay, like I mentioned before, okay, you have three condition for R out. So you can see here you can be this one, this one, or this one, or if you have because of that three condition, you have three C in or three C out, okay, and three C L. So based on this, you have to calculate this. So uh, the algorithm is quite uh, complicated. So if you read this and you try to implement it, is very difficult, okay. If uh, so because of that, I place a calculator for you. So you can see here at the website, okay, I put the Calculator. The calculator is something like this. Okay, so the calculator is something like this. Okay, you can see this is the paper. Okay, and then you can download it. Okay, okay, download the calculator. Okay, I prepare two types. Okay, the mathematics GUI. Basically, you have you need MATLAB to run this, or if you don't have MATLAB, you can use the window application. I also implement this into a Windows application. So if you want to download Windows application, just click here, download. And if you want to use the MATLAB guy, okay, you have to have a account, okay, MATWorld account, and you have to download it, okay. 
So, so how to use the calculator? Okay. Okay, some of you already contact me to know how to use the calculator. Okay, this is simple actually. Okay, let me show you. So, you have download uh, uh, the data sheet. Okay, you can see here is the data sheet. Okay, you can zoom in. Okay. Okay, you try to find the this one. Okay. Okay, but this one doesn't have any okay, PV curve. This is IV curve. So I suggest you find the one with the v, uh, VPV or you can plot it yourself, the VPV curve. Okay. So from that, okay, let me show you a better. Okay, before we continue, okay, uh, this is the program for the, what you call, the, uh, the Windows program. And if you use the MATLAB program, you have to extract it first. Okay, you download it, you extract it. And you have to run the. Mat file. Okay, you look for the okay this one MATLAB code. Okay, run this. Okay. Okay, change folder. Okay. Okay, you get the MATLAB version. Okay, this is the Windows version. So both are the same program. Okay. Okay, after you run this, you will get something like this. Okay, you have the input parameter here. The box okay this is the reference if you want to download the paper okay and this is the user manual if you want to use it okay basically you have to choose the input first okay so the first full input is mppt mpp resistant maximum power point resistant okay so this one you get it from pv so if you open the pv okay you can see here this is irradiance from 200 what okay this one is 200 okay this one is 1000 so you have uh, for example if you want to run from 2000 uh, 200 watt per meter squared until 1000 watt per meter squared so you choose this point and this point okay after you choose that okay so basically you look back this one okay so either you can use the r okay equals to v squared over r okay v squared divide by p okay you get the r for this and this one okay r minimum this one is r max r m p max sorry i don't have any pen here so this one r m p min okay or you can use the iv curve okay you can choose the maximum power point which is a little bit difficult because you have to choose the maximum power so this one is also the R M P mean. Okay, this one is R M P max. Okay, so uh, from this you have to choose it. Okay, for example here. Okay, if three. Okay, this one. Let me choose a different color. Okay, three. Okay, around three. Uh, not very clear. Okay, three. Divide by, if you look here, is around 18. So you get uh, the RMP minimum is around this one. Okay, it's around uh, 8. Okay, if you calculate this, 18 divided by 3 is around 8. Okay, and then you look at the RMP max here. Okay, here the RMP max. You look here 0 0.5 divided by 7 16. Okay, something like that. Okay, you get the RMP max around 30. Okay, so that is how you set the, okay, set the calculation. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, this one. So if you look back, where is it? Where is, okay, this one. So it's around, okay, the RMP mean is around 8 and the RMP max is around 31. So this one just put 8 and then. 31 okay and switching frequency you have to choose make sure you be careful on this one in in kilohertz so it's around 30 okay maybe 30 so ripple factor of course the input and output usually we choose one or two percent okay usually it is uh, if not mistaken it is just a standard okay standard for the converter to have one percent input and one percent output Okay, and then for the inductor, this one I suggest don't choose to be. If you choose to be, the inductor will be 
very large. So choose around 25, I think it's okay, 25%. And this one is safety factor. Okay, the derivation of this form, uh, this, uh, this calculation is only a ideal condition. So you have to multiply with some safety factor. So the input capacitor, I suggest you have to choose very large, okay, because of the ESR. Okay, the ESR effect, effect is quite large. And then you have to choose the inductor safety factor. This one is not too large because the effect of the internal resistance in the inductor is not too severe. Okay, you have to choose this. Okay, safety factor. Uh, you just leave it. Okay, you have to choose maybe this one, this one, and this one only. Three things. Okay, other than that, uh, I think you have to, it's already choose. Okay, minimum I suggest 10. Maximum I suggest 10, 75. Don't mo go more than 80%. Eh? Because boost converter cannot operate above 80%, it will be the the voltage become drop. Okay, the voltage drop and you lose control. Okay, so be careful, eh, this one. Okay, first one, after you have already insert the input parameters here, all of this, you have to calculate the load. Check the load. Okay, if you want, there are three types. Okay, fix if you want to have fix. Okay, fix load. Okay, means that your output resistance here where is it? Okay. okay, the output resistance here is fixed. You don't change it. Okay, it's just a fixed value. Okay, so if you fix it, no need to. Uh, you have to choose the fixed type. Okay, now what is limited? Okay, limited is basically the, res the resistance. You can change it. Okay. According to the limit here. Okay. So, check load. Okay. So, basically, R out, you can, okay, if you have fixed, okay, your output resistance, you have to choose this value only. But you have to fix it. Okay. Until the, that, uh, if you choose one, just choose one value. Okay. If you have a limited, okay, means that your load range is from 38 until 496 only if you move, uh, go more than that or less than that the and boost converter can fail to operate okay unlimited is basically you have unlimited resistance okay so basically you have a maximum value until okay you have a maximum value but i suggest you use either fixed or limited okay you can read more about it in the paper okay so for this case Okay, so be careful eh? if, for example, is uh, if the difference between the minimum and maximum is too large, for example, 131. Okay, if you check this, you cannot use a fixed resistance. Okay, because the range is too large. You cannot use the fixed resistance. So, you have to choose the limited only. Okay, that is the option. So, if you the range of the RMP, uh, RMP is not too large, you can use the fix. So, that is the limitation eh, when you put a re resistance at the output of the boost converter. So, run it again. Okay, you can see here. Eh? Okay. So, I choose fix. Okay. When I choose fix, okay, the resistance is around 38. Okay. Let me run it again. Okay. Be careful. Eh? Make sure you run it. So, you have to choose 38 until 128. So, I choose a smaller one is better. Eh? The response is much more faster. So, maybe I choose 50. Okay, 50. So, after I already choose the fixed value or maximum value. Okay, and then I calculate the input, uh, input capacitor and inductor. So, I calculate this. So, I already complete the design. So, this is the fixed one, fixed resistor and this is the Required inductor, capacitor, and inductor. Okay, Capacit input, capacitor, output, capacitor, and inductor. Okay, this one. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. So, that's it. Okay, if you want to verify this design, so you just press the verify. Okay, automatically show. Okay, so you can see here the duty cycle is around 60% until 20%. So, within the range. Okay, you set it 10 until 75, right? So, we did the range. So, the IL triple, okay, you set it maximum 25. Okay, this is 25. Okay, and then you have the input ripple here. You set it 1% only 0.5%. Same as here, 
one percent at the output is around zero point seven. Okay, so this is how to use it. And if you have the limited resistance, okay, so check the range. Okay, you have to set up the maximum first. Okay, for example, you can set the maximum from thirty eight until forty. 496 okay for example i choose 300 so you can calculate this the maximum resistance and you can verify it okay so the response is much more different okay for this one you have to be careful eh? okay so different resi uh, different irradiance means have you have to uh, change the resistance range okay for example at the minimum irradiance you have to make sure that the resistance is around 38 until 429 okay but for the maximum, okay, maximum irradiance, okay, if your uh, irradiance is maximum, we have to change the resistance around 9.8, okay, until 128. So you have to make sure this range is followed, okay. So be careful on that, okay. That's it from me, okay. Good luck when you are using this software or calculator, okay. Thank you.